So the Community Fast of Compassion is something that happens annually the week uh, in November going into, just before going into the Thanksgiving holiday. And the way it works is you abstain from two meals in one 24 hour period and then you take the money that you would have spent on those meals and you donate it. 100% of the funding that comes in goes immediately out into the community as immediately as we can get the checks cut. And then um, organizations who are recipients of funds take that funding and they help families over the holidays to just make their lives a little brighter and a little better. And it's really this mindset that we're gonna take care of each other. And that's the spirit of it. We've been doing this for 10 years. The first year, uh, about 9,000 was given. It's increased every year after that. Two years ago, it was about 60,000 it was given. Last year it was 50 something. But the total amount given to the fast effort is pushing 300,000. In 2011, there were three churches that got together for a service project, trying to find common ground. And they painted one of the local elementary schools. They had such a good time doing it that they continued to talk about ways they could do things together. And so in 2013, the idea of a community fast was pitched, and these three churches decided this is a good thing we can get behind. Uh, maybe inspired a little bit by Isaiah's teachings that one of the purposes of a fast is to feed the hungry and clothe the naked. And so with that in mind, these three church leaders approached the mayor to see if the city would be interested in participating in something like that. And the mayor and city council embraced it. And so what started as a, some churches trying to do something in our faith really began uh, to turn into a community event. And that's what it is today. It's the annual Sholo Community Fast of Compassion. 26 organizations to date have received funding from the Community Fast of Compassion um, and that number sometimes grows every year. We'll get one or two additional organizations that have need that will, you know, petition to be a part of the recipients. And those organizations vary from um, nonprofit organizations that take care of different groups, subgroups in our community like veterans and um, other groups. Um, it's used uh, by the schools, the Shirley Unified School District schools and some charter schools and private schools in our district area and also local daycare centers are recipients of funds. Speaking for the CCO, uh, uh, recently we helped a woman get her scrubs for her job at the hospital. She couldn't afford them but she had to have them to be able to do that job in the hospital. So we took her shopping, we got the scrubs. So the Community Fast of Compassion Celebration happens on Sunday um, at the end of the week where the fast um, takes place. And we have a whole bunch of people that get together at the Sholo Unified School District Auditorium um, in the evening hours and we have music, we have um, video clips of uh, people who've been recipients of the donations, organizations that talk about what the funds mean and how they were spent. And then also um, we're usually treated uh, by some words from our mayor um, and just other leaders who might have something to share about what the community fast means in our community. But the celebration really is almost just as important as the days leading up to it, those days of the fast where people are fasting from food and donating money because it brings us together. It invites a renewed spirit of thanksgiving and goodness and just the values that are really pivotal and modeled through the fast. What I'd like to say to the people that participate in the fast is first of all, thank you. And I say thank you on behalf of the people who've been helped, children, particularly through the schools. And then the second thing I'd like to say is your gifts and your concern are the strength of our community. It's amazing to live in a community where we're growing and we're big, but we still have that kind of small town feel where we're one.